this is why I got to ask Cameron Teague of The Athletic, who's joining us here in the Adam Gold Show, is this a perfect place for C.J. Stroud to live when he gets drafted <laughs> number one overall? Yeah, no, I think I think it'll work well for C.J. I think it'd be a good place for him. Um, he's, uh, I, I think Carolina, like you look at a lot of the places where um, that could draft him. Um, I think a lot of us are talking about it all year long, but I think Carolina is a, is a perfect destination for C.J. Why? Why is it perfect? I, I think the the organization is set up well. Um, I mean, I, I think the city is good. I, I think there's there's going to be pressure, but there's not too much pressure. Like he's used to pressure as a Ohio State quarterback, but it's not like you're being thrown into being quarterback of the Jets, where they want to win, where they're ready to win right now. And you just know how Jets media and Jets fan bases are. Um, and I, I think CJ handles that a lot of that stuff well at Ohio State. Um, and I, I just think he's a level headed guy um, who who just wants to come in and win. Cameron, I, I think it's pretty ridiculous that people look at C.J. Stroud and knock him for having some of the best wide receivers in the country you know, this year and this past year. Do you, do you agree with that? Yeah, yeah, no, I do. I do. <laughs> I think I think you could run a lot of people out there in that Ohio State offense and C.J. would get them the ball as long as they know how to run a route. Um, so I, I, it's he's just so accurate, and, and that's the thing. That's what stands out for me is – I think when I say he could throw the ball to anybody, maybe not anybody, but he's so accurate, he puts the ball in very tight windows um, that you wouldn't expect. Cameron Teague from The Athletic, who covers Ohio State, joining us here on the Adam Gold Show. People knock on C.J. Stroud because he didn't run enough. Why are those people stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think you can watch the Georgia game and and kind of see that that's, that's a false narrative. I, 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 I'll offer a counterpoint to that, though. I agree with you, but I'll offer a counterpoint to that. Okay, he only did it one time. Just because you do it once doesn't mean you can consistently do it. But, okay, anyone could do something great one time. What, right, what about C.J. Stroud proves that he can actually do that consistently? Okay, so I, I will note, I, I agree. I think you do it one time. It doesn't necessarily mean you can do it consistently. I will also counterpoint to that is that he did that against the best teams in the, in the, in the, uh, in the country. Fair. Uh, I thought he moved well. I thought, I mean, he he wins the Northwestern game. Like, they couldn't throw the ball at all. They win Northwestern because CJ uh, pulls a couple QB reads and, and gets big runs, gets some big runs out of that. I mean, his first touchdown at college was a big run. Like, he can run. I think it was Ohio State's kind of philosophy was like, listen, we want to keep you safe. You have he's the most talented quarterback in the draft. So I think they want to keep him healthy, keep him in the pocket, and use his arm. But he can get out and move when he needs to. Now, one thing, Cameron, I think people are going to say about this year's quarterback class is it doesn't have that Joe Burrow. It doesn't have that uh, Justin Herbert. It doesn't have like these these high-flying caliber quarterbacks. But when I look at what C.J. Stroud and Bryce Young, I, I think they are one and two in this quarterback class. They, I think if you get either one of those guys, they're going to be great. But I think C.J. Stroud has the potential to be that high-tier two type quarterback uh, in the NFL in his career. Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, no, I do. I, I think he's the most talented passer in this draft, and I don't really think it's close. I mean, the things he can do with the ball are just really, really impressive. Um, and I love Bryce Young. I think he's extremely talented, but I think CJ just has so much upside. Uh, I think when he gets to the NFL and he can show that he can move around a little bit, he can show his mobility. I, I thought he showed some of that in, in his pro day. Um, that got him out and, and moved him a little bit into some PA rollouts, um, and the ball came off his hand really, 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 really strong. So, um, I think when he can, can get there and prove himself, I think people will see that he he is the top quarterback in his class. But Cameron, I thought Ohio State quarterbacks can't play in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, that's what a lot of them say. I I I still think the the verdict's out on Justin Fields. I thought he had a tremendous year last year. Chicago just didn't get him any any weapons. Uh, he's got some weapons now, obviously, as you guys know. So, yes, we do. Um, I, I I think I think he'll be really good next year. So a lot of people. What is it about Ohio State and, and quarterbacks that for some reason that there's this perception? I okay, I understand that Dwayne Haskins didn't work out in Washington, but I was also someone who went out of the into the draft too early. Uh, yeah. People look at Cardell Jones or some, you know, Terrell Pryor, some of these other guys, but this isn't like CJ Stroud isn't those guys. I don't know why people for some reason equate other people in a program and just all of a sudden that's the assumption of what's going to happen. Oh, we had all these great players around him. You can't just assume that's going to be the case just because he played at Ohio State. Right. No, I agree. I think you can look at CJ. Well, I, I go to your first point. I think, and it, I have come around to this way of thinking probably four or five years ago. I'm a, I'm a big Browns fan, born in Cleveland. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. I, go on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
what I was speaking to. Um, is that like I think quarterbacks get drafted sometimes into bad situations. Yes, and they stay in bad situations too long, and it kills their career. Um, so I, I find it hard. It's hard for me to judge quarterbacks to come out of the draft and say that they just didn't have it. I think you can look at CJ though and see this is a pro ready quarterback. Mm. I, the way he throws the ball, the way the ball comes off his hand, the reads he makes. I just think he's, I think he's really talented. I just, I don't see him fitting into that mold of like, he's not going to see the NFL because I just, I can watch him and I see the throws he makes, the, the reads he makes. And I, it looks like an NFL quarterback right now. Cameron, I look at, when I look at CJ Stroud and what he brings to the table, right? You, you talked about it a little bit already. His anticipation it feels next level. Um, his leadership ability from everything I've heard is next level. He, he seems to be one of those guys that has the intangibles that you want at quarterback. Is, is there anything we're missing about what makes CJ Stroud, you know, probably the number one pick in the draft in future Carolina Panther? Yeah, I think what people overlook sometimes, and maybe not overlook, I think we saw it a lot on the Ohio State beat is CJ, for what it's worth, Ohio State's a extremely talented team. He has, he has mm-hmm. a lot of offensive weapons. I, I think Marvin Harrison's going to be one of the best receivers drafted in a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, but CJ has this knack when his team needs him to put a drive together. He just finds a way to do it. I, I, the Penn State game was one of those games that stood out to me that offensively they were stagnant the whole second and third quarter. They didn't score a touchdown until they scored a touchdown in the first quarter, didn't score again until the fourth. But then CJ leads them on three straight touchdown drives to win the game. Uh, same with Northwestern. He can't really throw the ball. He uses his legs, finds a way to win the game. He just has a knack that, like, he can find ways to win games. Now, I know he lost to Michigan. I know he hadn't won a Big Ten championship game. Um, and he put them in position to win that Georgia game. So I think sometimes that's a little bit overlooked is the way he can ju- – he, he's such a good leader. I think he finds ways to push people to a, to a next level in those in those drives. Cameron Teague, The Athletic, joining us here on the Adam Gold Show alongside Lewis Fernandez. I'm Dennis Cox. We're sitting in for Adam. He'll be back on Monday. Have you seen an entourage or a, like like the Panthers rolled up with for the pro day like that? Fourteen dudes deep, like yeah. and, and includes Nicole Tepper, like fourteen people just rolling in like that. Have you ever seen anything like that for a pro day for for one team? Yeah, that, that was impressive. I was I was standing over there with some of the Carolina writers, and it was they were we were pointing out the the general manager and the owner, and and I, I was impressive. I it just, I think it shows that they they really they want to do everything they can to do the due diligence on both these quarterbacks to make sure they know which one they're taking. Uh, and it's smart. I mean, you, you, you got to get everybody there, but I've never seen an owner come down to a pro day. That, that that's crazy. Were the amount of bro hugs and back slaps, like indication that yes, CJ Stroud is the guy because there was a ton for all the footage that there, we there was saw. A lot. There was from a like, lot. It was, it was Frank Reich. It was Fitterer. It was, yeah. uh, it was, it was Tepper. It was Josh McCown. I was like, wait a second. How many bro yeah. hugs we're going to have here in about two, in about two minutes. Yeah. No, they, they like him for sure. I didn't see the I didn't see Bryce Young's pro day, but I, they like him for sure. I, I, man, listen, I I would be surprised if he's not number one. I like I said, told you guys before. I think he's the best quarterback in the draft. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, Carolina's has a tough choice between both these quarterbacks. Well, you've had a chance to watch some good ones up there at Ohio State, and and you know what? We'll probably see him in the in the in the college football playoff again because you know why? It's Ohio State, yeah, and that's exactly. what that's what they do up there. Cameron Teague of the Athletic, give him a follow on Twitter at cj underscore teague. We're looking forward to the draft. Thanks for your time. Really do appreciate it. I appreciate it, guys.